Oh, new tonight, an update on the Fayetteville City Council discussing an ordinance to stop the sale of puppies and kittens in retail stores unless they work with an animal shelter or rescue. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Darren Bob. Erica has the week off. 5 News reporter Micah Wilson is live in Fayetteville outside of City Hall. And Micah, that meeting wrapping up just moments ago. Yeah, Darren, you can see is empty here behind me. The building is cleared out about 30 minutes ago is when they decided on this decision. It was actually the last agenda item and it ended up passing unanimously. Now they did not pass without any back and forth discussion and there was plenty of it here tonight and the advisory board who wanted to present this in front of the city council. They tell me that time is of the essence and I want you to take a look at some video because the animal service advisory board is the group behind this and they wanted to have this pass before the Petland shop at the Fayetteville along Joyce Boulevard opens. Now Petland already has a location in Rogers open and members of the advisory board claim that Petland gets their pets from animal mills, not caring for the animals, saying that the company is making high profits off of mistreated pets, while Petland says that is simply not true and that they care for their animals and do not get them from mills. And we're actually going to hear from people that spoke tonight and people that we interviewed prior to the meeting right now. We can't regulate what happens everywhere, right? But we can regulate what happens within our city limits. We have procedures and protocols in place. We are always focusing on the one priority, which is the health and happiness of the puppy while it's at the store. You will see that these pets are taken care of. They are loved. Thousands of dollars. We're talking seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for a puppy. Now we're going to continue to look at some video because one pet land customer says that that price is actually off saying that they were charged between $1,000 to $4,000. And now Boyer, who you just heard from, they say that um, this needed to pass soon and to make sure that animals are cared for because the USDA regulations do not protect them enough. Questioning whether USDA, their certification is, you know, really not valid. I think that's going a little too far. Now, while this did pass unanimously, the emergency clause did not pass, so that means it won't go into effect until next month. For now, we're live here in Fayetteville, covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News.